Eversong Woods is a strange and numinous forest. It is nestled in the reclaimed section of Quel Thelas. This is the location of Silvermoon City, the oldest capital city in the Horde. Eversong Woods is characterized by rolling hills, dense forests, and clear sparkling streams. The landscape is lush and vibrant, filled with ancient trees and mystical flora. The forest experiences mild seasonal changes, with spring and summer bringing lush greenery and abundant wildlife, while autumn sees the leaves turn golden and red. The winters are mild, with occasional light snowfall, but for the most part, the region seems to be perpetually locked in a state of magical spring, ensuring that the forest remains vibrant and full of life almost year-round despite its location so far north. For millennia, the Blood Elves and their highborn ancestors have called this resplendent forest their home. But the stewardship of this region has been tumultuous to say the least. During the Third War, Prince Arthas and the Scourge carved a path of devastation through the heart of Quel'Thalas hell-bent on harnessing the elves' mystical sunwell for necromantic purposes. His invasion left a literal trail of destruction. The tainted scar, scorched into Eversong Woods. Thus far, the elves have worked extensively to drive the lingering undead from the lands and cleanse the wounds of Arthas's assault. But the task is far from over, as Quel'Thalas looks toward a new future ensuring the safety and well-being of Eversong will be a critical first step. In the wake of the Scourge's invasion, much of Eversong has been reclaimed, but not without cost. The destruction of the Sunwell adversely affected Eversong's wildlife, along with the Elves' own arcane creations, driving many erratic and hostile. Dealing with these threats, along with understanding every Blood Elf's innate addiction to magic, is among the first orders of business the Blood Elves must attend to in order to reclaim their home. Eversong is also troubled by the Wretched, a group of disheveled, violent mana addicts who could not balance their dependency on the Arcane. Furthermore, Amani forest trolls have made incursions into Eversong, having grown bold with the advent of the Elves' recent losses to the Scourge. Adding to the growing list of domestic troubles, a southwestern portion of Eversong, now known as the Scorched Grove, was burned by the Elves in an effort to halt the corruption and the Scourge's advance, an action which turned the local treants hostile. The Blood Elves seek to quell these threats under the leadership of the Farstriders an order of elite rangers active in Quel'Thalas. They are led by the Ranger General of Silvermoon, a position of great honor, but also great peril. Bound to the Wildlands, and with a deep respect for the law, the Forest Rider Rangers keep the traditional dignity of the Blood Elves, while remaining the chosen protectors of their society. Nestled in the northern reaches of the Eversong Woods is Silvermoon City, the crown jewel of the Elvish society. Like the woodland around it, Silvermoon has been mostly reclaimed since its most recent invasion. The Blood Elves have continued to heal Silvermoon's scars in the hopes of restoring their beloved capital's majestic grace. However, the efforts are ongoing. The western half of the city is still in ruins, home only to wretched addicts and roaming constructs. Both the city and the forest of Eversong stand as a testament to the resilience and determination of the Blood Elves. Though scarred, the remnants of their battered kingdom endure as a beacon of hope and the heart of their culture. Their commitment to preserving the vitality of their fallen people underscores an enduring spirit and dedication to an ancient heritage. And while the challenges ahead seem great, their nobility and the resolve of the Blood Elves remain greater. <laughs>